Okay, so we're in the Quickie Sign main page, and this is the most important but also the easiest step. Go ahead and just enter your personal information in the email address you want the information to be sent to, and choose a password to remember, of course, and go ahead and click sign up. Now you'll be in the main screen. This is the dashboard is where it all happens. So this is where you add lay layouts. You'll be able to add devices, uh, which of course are the uh, screens that you want to display things on. And the layouts, just to give a brief explanation, is pretty much how we set up uh, the different designs that we put on the uh, monitors for the quickie signs. So that's the basics of it. And uh, now we're going to dive in and set up your first layout on your first device. Here we can see what things look like on Roku before you add quickie sign. So just a brief explanation of the terminology difference. In Roku, it's called a channel that you'll be adding. In Quickie Sign, what you're doing is basically adding a device. So that's between the two languages, if you will, how we will be connecting the Quickie Sign program to your Roku. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to add the device. This is basically how we're going to connect your television and Roku system to the Quickie Sign. So what we'll do here is click Add New Device. Next, what we want to do is connect the actual channel to the device. And what we'll do is, in this case, we'll click on the Roku channel. And you should be logged in. You'll get this kind of warning that says it's a non-certified channel. It's really nothing to worry about, of course. But it's just basically their way of protecting themselves and stuff like that. And we'll, of course, click Yes, Add Channel. And we should show have it show up right away on the screen. And we'll go ahead and take a look right now. Click on the Quickie Sign channel and you'll get the activation code you'll need to enter. Now we'll be going back to the dashboard and under adding the new device, we'll enter the code. And we can name the device something like Sony TV. And that's it. So we should get a success message. And right now, as you can see, um, it will say the playlist is empty because we don't have anything in the playlist yet. And that's what we're going to do next to add our first layout. Before we do that, I just thought I'd sh show what your screen will look like without any layouts. Basically, Quickie Sign will load a default screensaver that will repeat itself. Okay, we're in the home stretch. So at this point, click Add new layout, give it a name, then choose full page. So clicking on create new layout, you can then upload your video file. It will take a few seconds depending on your system and connection speed. Now just save and exit and then select the video in your playlist. And that's it. Congratulations. So in future videos, we'll cover such things as creating different slideshows or operating different zones, which is basically controlling different devices. So thanks for watching, and we welcome you to the Quickie Sign community.